Okay, so uh, today we're diving into something okay. pretty mind-bending. Have you ever, like, stopped to think that maybe, just maybe, our brains are constantly trying to predict the future? Mm -hmm. Not in, like, a mystical way, but at a fundamental level, like right now. Mm -hmm. Your brain is probably making little bets about what I'm going to say next. Yes. That's the kind of wild territory we're venturing into with active inference. Yeah, what's so captivating about active inference? is that it's not just some abstract theory about how our brains work. It's actually providing like a blueprint for <laughs> building smarter AI, understanding complex systems, <laughs> even potentially shedding light on consciousness itself. It's like this whole new lens for understanding intelligence, both biological and the artificial. And leading the charge in this exciting new field is the Active Inference Institute. What I find as so fascinating about their work is they're not content with just studying this stuff in an ivory tower. They're a nonprofit, oh. completely laser focused on making active inference accessible to everyone. Yeah, that's what makes this organization so important. In the broader research landscape, they embody this open systems approach, which is all about transparency, collaboration, and breaking down those traditional academic silos. It's like they're saying, look, understanding intelligence, whether it's in our brains or in the machines we build, is too important to keep locked up in some private research lab. I love that. It's like the difference between hoarding knowledge and throwing a massive open house Hint. for anyone who's curious to learn. But how does that actually play out? What does this open systems approach look like in action? Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how does that actually work? Right. So it's not just like a bunch of academics huddled in a room scribbling equations on a chalkboard. Give us a glimpse into this open house of knowledge they've created. Imagine, instead of a chalkboard, a bustling marketplace buzzing with different conversations. You've got researchers presenting groundbreaking papers, of course, but you've also got developers building open source tools based on those findings, and educators creating courses to make those tools and ideas accessible to anyone. There are even artists exploring active inference concepts through their work. Wait, artists? That's oh. amazing. It sounds like they're really trying to reach people through all sorts of avenues, not oh. just the usual academic routes. Yeah. This focus on accessibility is fantastic. But how does that translate to the actual research happening at the Institute? What are some concrete examples of how they're pushing things forward? They're tackling some really big questions, like how we can use active inference to understand and potentially even treat mental health conditions, for example. They're using active inference to model how negative thought patterns can become entrenched in the brain, which could lead to entirely new approaches to therapy. Wow. So this isn't just theoretical. It has the potential to make a real difference in people's lives. Yeah. Exactly. And it goes even further than healthcare. They're exploring how active inference can help us understand and address complex global challenges. They've got people looking at how to use these principles to design more resilient systems in the face of climate change, or to improve team collaboration and decision making in high stakes environments. Okay, my mind is officially blown. They've even got resources that make complex ideas like Markov blankets, which describe how our brains filter information. Easy to grasp. It's no wonder their YouTube channel is booming. With thousands of people joining their Discord community to discuss this stuff, those numbers might seem small compared to, say, the latest viral cat video. Yeah. But for a complex field like this, it shows serious momentum. What do you think is driving that growth? aside from the Institute's amazing outreach efforts. I think people are hungry for a new framework, a new lens for understanding not just the world around them, but their own minds as well. Active inference offers a really elegant and powerful way of doing that. And the Institute is doing a phenomenal job of bringing it to the forefront. It's like you said earlier about active inference becoming as widely known as machine learning. Right. It's starting to feel less like a pipe dream and more like an inevitability. Yeah. But like with any rapidly growing ecosystem sure there are always challenges right absolutely one challenge is making sure the institute itself can keep pace with this surge of interest they need resources funding and infrastructure to support all these researchers developers and educators who are drawn to their mission so it's like they're building the plane while they're flying it in a way yes but they're tackling it head on for instance, they've launched a micro-grant program specifically designed to fund researchers exploring totally new applications of active inference. Okay. Things like using it to design more efficient solar panels or develop AI systems that can better understand and respond to human emotions. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Real-world impact. Mm -hmm. Tangible solutions. Mm -hmm. But what about people like me? 
or well, people like you listening. What if you're not a scientist or an engineer, but you're still totally fascinated by this stuff? Mm -hmm. Is there a place for you in this ecosystem? Absolutely. And that's another challenge the Institute is actively addressing, how to onboard newcomers. Folks who might not have a background in neuroscience or advanced math, yeah. but who are eager to learn and contribute. Because let's face it, active inference can seem pretty intimidating from the outside looking in. It can be, but the Institute is committed to meeting people where they are. It's got volunteer opportunities, ways to contribute to open source projects. You can even propose your own research ideas, no matter how unconventional they might seem. I love that. It's like that old saying, the best way to learn is by doing. Exactly. And the Institute provides the framework, the community, and the support to turn that doing into something truly impactful. So to wrap things up, if you're intrigued by this idea of a framework that bridges brains, AI, and maybe even the universe itself. Take the plunge. Dive into the Active Inference Institute ecosystem. It's a fascinating world waiting to be explored. And who knows, you might just find yourself shaping the future of intelligence alongside them. Yeah, I think that's a great place to leave it. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening, everybody.